I'm John Mount of WinVector LLC, and I thought I'd take a minute to answer what do I think I'm doing with these um, Filson Data Science Chalk Talks. Well, they're not actually sponsored by Filson, though I certainly wish they were. It's just basically they're the manufacturer of this nice warm shirt, which I wear because it's a little cold in our studio. Now, what I actually think I'm doing are attempting is I'm trying to democratize data science, machine learning, and statistics in the same way that Dr. Nina Zimmel and I attempted in our book, Practical Data Science with R, which is now out in its second edition. It's something we're very proud of, which I'll get back to in a minute. But um, basically, we think that we now live in a data-driven and analytical world. And we have some really great machine learning statistics and data science algorithms, but where people are likely to see the fast increase in value is where the data is produced and where it's used. And to my mind, that's the providence of software engineers. So along those lines, we need to train up software engineers to have an intuitive feel of how data science works, both so they can use it on their own projects and in other projects, they can identify places where extra record keeping might improve things or where data science can come in and act, or maybe they can act as the data scientist. Often, just knowing what to log makes all the difference in the world in future projects. Now, along those lines, we are at an unnamed GAFM company. It's an acronym for very large tech companies. At an unnamed GAFM tech company, producing a series of data science intensives, which are two-week full-time intensives, where we take groups of 30 to 40 engineers and familiarize them with the concepts of data science, statistics, and machine learning in a very controlled, experience-oriented experience -oriented environment. By experience-oriented, we set them up with very small exercises and projects so they encounter the frustrations that actually give experience. And we do it in a safe, controlled way with a very fast pace that we're able to get them through basically a lot of very important techniques, um, basic linear and generalized linear models for both classification and regression, then exotic tree-based models, which routinely win data science contests, and then a taste of deep learning, but using the same systematic way of thinking for all those layers, and all of which could be the ones that do a great project. So that was somewhat what we attempted in practical data science with R, though we did not do deep learning in this book. You could only put so much in a book. Um, but basically, R is an open source statistical platform, so it's, it's well regarded by statisticians. It's a pretty good piece of software, and you can use it. It's free software, open source, so you can use it to build up a data science environment with one install and go forward and actually work the exercises and stuff that we share in this book and this video series. So that's what I'm attempting both with um, uh, Dr. Nina Zumel's book and the course material that she designed for this intensive, which uh, the intensive actually is in Python this time, that being an inessential difference. And um, that's what we want to do with these video talks, is can we patch little holes in people's knowledge that they feel they know 90% of what they need to do and they do know 90%, what's that missing 5 or 10% that gives them the confidence to go forward? And that's our overall goal in teaching and sharing, and I hope that you're excited about these topics as I am. Thank you very much for your time.